Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. So we have the Two of Pentacles. We have Manifesting You. Knight of Cups. We have the Magician. Gemini, Virgo, Aries, energy for me. They're probably the Two of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. Clarify the Manifesting You card. We have Ace of Wands. Somebody wants you back. Somebody's coming towards you with a, a proposal, a romantic, an expression of emotions, an offer. Yeah, like somebody wants you. Yeah, Taming Hunger, though. Taming a player trying to resist temptation. What about Taming Hunger? We have four of swords. So I feel like if you guys withdrew from this person, it's almost been kind of like wearing this person down. Like if they just say that they were not wanting to leave the player lifestyle behind, they were wanting to kind of juggle you or they were wanting to have their options. They weren't even sure if they wanted a commitment like to settle down and get married and have something like serious. Somebody here... If you withdrew from them, it may it's been making them want you more. So some of you guys withdrew from them in the fall time. So if you if you broke up with somebody in the fall, or you you really like kept your di distance from somebody starting in the fall time, it's been making this person want you more and more. Like somebody is like really, I feel like they've been trying to resist coming towards you, and that's probably why maybe it's been a while since you guys have spoken or whatever, but. This is definitely somebody that was trying to juggle you in the past or they weren't sure what they wanted with you. Who is wanting you back now? Who is wanting to kind of get on the same page as you? Wanting to restart things with you? Coming in with a romantic proposal. Um, but I feel like you definitely withdrew from this person. We have the King of Wands on the back of the deck. So it could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sag. Who, yeah, who wants to take things to the next level with you. Ooh, definitely. Oh. So... It's fun that the readings that I did back in the fall or one of the readings that I did back in the fall, I believe it was on Instagram. It was talking about when it came to the solar eclipse that someone would be having a change of heart. So I feel like somebody has been having a change of heart over the last, how many months has it been? Um, hmm, five, five to six months. I feel like someone has really been having a change of heart. Okay. Like this person is wanting to come towards you to manifest a, they want to re, they want to reunite. They want a relationship with you. Yeah, but what is this? They're, ooh, and they're walking away. So, I also did another solar eclipse reading on my channel here. Um, and, because I went, I went and looked. Because I, when I do these readings, guys, I do not remember what I do. Like, I'm purely channeling. Like, and then when I do these readings, I forget about them. Like, and I do so many of them, I don't remember them. So, I just knew I did a few readings, like, back in the fall about solar eclipses. So, I went and checked my Instagram. I went and checked my, um, my videos um from then and there was three one to, i think it was one one um instagram reel that i did and then there was two youtube readings that i did in regards to the solar eclipse and um and it was a twin flames reading i think i don't remember what the other one was um but i know one of them was for sure a twin flame reading and one of them literally said that the solar eclipse was leading to someone walking away from a karmic partner so we do have the devil here we have the karmic partner card and we have eight of cups so somebody is walking away from somebody that they are codependent on so they have a toxic, destructive relationship with, um, they're ready to leave that in the past to walk towards wish fulfillment, nine of cups, which is you wish coming true, happy and fulfilled. So that's what's coming in guys. Somebody is coming towards you with a romantic offer after walking away from a current partner. Okay. And I actually, that's been just coming through in my collective readings recently. Anyways, um, tell me more. Yeah. Wasn't that the last twin flames reading? I, I believe we have five of cups. Who's in, who's in regret? Who's sad? Who's grieving? The Queen of Pentacles. What about the Queen? Somebody's grieving the Queen of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles is grieving? Let's see. Who's Four of Cups? No, somebody's grieving you. Some of you guys could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Somebody's grieving you because they feel like you are very abundant. You're very stable. You're very confident. You have a lot going for you. They feel like you are you losing you would be a missed opportunity. I think that somebody also is sad because maybe you're not giving their... Either you have rejected them or... They feel like you're not giving them your attention. Tell me more. Okay, we have dates. So somebody wants to spend some time with you. Somebody may reach out to you to spend some time with you, and you guys may reject that offer. What about mirroring? Three of Cups. 
the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Mm, yeah, I feel like someone is wanting to reunite with you and maybe spend some time with you. I think you guys are going to be holding back from this person. I feel like you're going to be very guarded towards them. I feel like this person still needs to take a look in the mirror. What is mirroring the world? Or maybe they have been going through a period of taking a look in the mirror. Maybe you and this person have both been just kind of like doing some introspection. You've been in hermit mode, you know, whatever. Sirius says that cycle may be coming to an end or somebody is, yeah. Maybe you guys are both closing out cycles with the mirroring aspect. We have create a new path, completion of a cycle. Didn't I just say something was coming full circle? You and this person have been going through some type of cycle that started with the first solar eclipse back in October and it's coming to an end with this one that's coming up soon. And I feel like it's been a period because this card says, a morale, it's, it's, um, it says a calling for you to go within. So I feel like you and this person have both been like going through like in going through the dark night of the soul or you've been going through a period of introspection, hermit mode since the fall time. Yeah. And I feel like now I feel like that's coming. The, 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 the period of solitude is coming to an end. Completion of a full cycle. I literally just said that ace of swords. Yeah. Now someone wants to talk or they they're coming out of you. You both are coming out of this period of solitude or hermit mode uh, with a lot more clarity. Okay, um, and now what? The Empress, or they have, they've gained some type of clarity about you. They feel like you are their divine counterpart. They feel like you are their Empress or their Emperor. Yeah, what about wishing? Undecided, replaying events, si suffering in silence. It's almost like they've been wishing for you, but they also know that they haven't been sure about what they wanted or sure about you. So I feel like instead of like, they've just been like not saying anything, something more, because they know that they didn't have it. Yeah, this King of Wands. They've been undecided, so I feel like they haven't been taking any action. They maybe feel like they maybe feel like they couldn't come towards you in that energy. What is forbidden about this? Seven of Pentacles. Oh, mm, ending transition. Ending of what? Death. So they had to make some type of change here. Page of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, they had to end a cycle with somebody else to be able. You may be told this person that you, either you're going to invest in me and we're going to build something stable and long term, or you're not going to have, you're, it's, it's not, you're not going to have access to me. So that's why maybe why they feel forbidden. This person has maybe been spot. What is this? What is the page of swords? Divine timing. They've been learning lessons with this queen of, this queen of cups energy, or like they've been going through an ending with this person. They've been reevaluating things and it's leading to them ending a cycle with this person. Patience needed surrender to the unknown. Didn't I say the dark night? I'm telling you guys. The dark night of the soul. Emptiness, disconnection. Yeah. All right, so they're coming out of the dark night. They're coming out of the dark night. Five of pentacles. Mm, what about the five of pentacles? The five of wands. Or the two of wands, sorry. Okay, and ace of pentacles. What's that do with you? Ripped apart. They feel like... They feel very vulnerable when it comes to you. They they feel very emotional when it comes to you. Divinely guided to what? Yeah, they they feel like they're being divinely guided to you or the divine is trying to guide them to you. Yeah. Trust the journey. The, your connection is protected. The, yeah, the connection is still there. So what's happening next here? So what about this karmic partner? They're ghosting a karmic partner. <laughs> Tell me about ghosting and karmic partner. We have sexual encounter. And rejection. <laughs> so this, so. So what is happening here? This karmic is wanting to sleep with this person or someone's rejecting a sexual encounter with a karmic? Okay. <laughs> High priestess, use your intuition, look beyond what you see. So now what? The king of cups. Lessons. They're learning lessons in love. Waiting. Feelings of need. Hopeful they'll return. What about waiting? Two of ten of swords. It's time to, for what? This is for them to return. You guys have been anticipating this person coming back. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm not saying you guys have been really waiting on them, but you guys, I feel like you guys have, like, had this feeling that they would be back. And Sierra says, it's, and you may be like, dang, like, I thought they, like, I don't know. There's just this energy, you guys knowing that they would return. Or maybe you guys really just know that you and this person would reunite one day. And Spirit says, it's time. 
divine intervention no more running okay so let's see what is going on with them in this give me more clarity or, or surrounding this karmic part see the six of swords and the seven of swords they're either sneaking away from somebody they may not be walking away from this third party in the most in the best way either i don't know doing something very sneaky what is going on with that guys so karmic partner is coming out again what about this karmic partner is so significant that it keeps coming out the four of cups yeah it's like they're rejecting them they're like rejecting them they're refusing some type of offer from them they're 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 not like they're very ha unhappy with that person they're feel, they're not giving that person any like feelings and like they're not investing in that person emotionally at all like they're not affectionate towards them so now what ace of swords yeah that oh feeling insecure fear of vulnerability this person is not happy where they're at or where they've been at but they've been trying to work up the courage to come towards you and be vulnerable with you so what are they going to do about this person money for, oh they're just with that person for money of course money affecting your love life money over love so what about it the high priestess Pisces energy and the page of wands it's time for what somebody feels like it's time for you to time to take a leap of faith and do what aquarius energy try to make something right with you but are they still with this person judgment and okay they're making the decision to cut that person off yeah we have judgment and we have cutting karmic ties doing the inner work so they're not with them anymore the queen of yeah this queen of cups divine mm, surrender to the unknown patience is needed so they haven't they're almost they haven't yet they're about to yeah nine of wands they're tired they're, they're sick of that person but they, they haven't cut them off yet they're very close because after the nine is the ten and ten is the ending so what is what's key is it just money what is keeping this person from closing the cycle out or are they are they finally going to do it with this eclipse what is what's the hold up here what are they waiting for with the the three of wands in the back of the deck it's like what you've been waiting for is coming on coming in the wheel of fortune the three of wands and the ace of pentacles you have a steady union coming in um and it may not even necessarily be with this person but i mean it looks like it is what so they they know they're very they they're very clear about how they feel about you they know that they want to cut this karmic off what is keeping them from doing it completely what is keeping them from doing it completely see it's just it's just their fear of vulnerability who had a reading like this leo leo had a reading like this yesterday where it was like fear of the unknown is the only thing that's causing stagnation them still not but okay so this is the problem with this person why is it why is that their only two options stay with this other person or come in and express my feelings to the collective and be with them why is there not that the, the, the in-between option there to just maybe you know leave the other person be alone then you know work on myself so that i can have enough courage to come in and express my feelings to the collective like i don't understand this person's logic they have a fear hide, tell me about hiding feelings why is them wanting to hide their not being ready to open up to you the reason they're not leaving this other person they could be staying there because of their insecurities see yeah they're undecided not set in stone too many variables it's like they haven't 100 percent made up their mind yet with this two of wands i mean the I, the two of pentacles why why are they undecided the empress it's like this person doesn't feel good enough for you that oh i think this person also just doesn't know what's going on with you solitude soul searching virgo energy with the hermit the awakening feeling of oneness surrendering what's to do with this person though the world okay now what the nine of pentacles maybe they have they need to are they is this the current energy of them world the world and the nine of pentacles lessons are they done learning the lessons now the ten of cups what about the ten of cups frozen hard no part of learning their lessons is them releasing this family situation like being single they need to learn how to be alone so I feel like the problem is they may be finally leaving that person. They may be finally making the, the decision to leave this situation that they've been holding on to for financial reasons. But the problem with, I feel like this person is still not the right time for the two of you to come together. They are moving into alignment with you. And part of moving into alignment with you is them cutting off this karmic. 
taking the lessons, learning the lessons from that situation, taking them, you know, applying them to their life and letting that go. So I do see them doing that. But the problem is that this person needs to not, not leave this other situation and just come straight to you. This person needs to learn how to be alone. Yeah, they need to learn how to be alone and be independent. This person has an issue with codependency. And that's a big part of the reason why things were so toxic between them and this karmic. The karmic partner card literally says codependency on it. This person does not know how to be alone. And I think that the divine is trying to teach this person how to be alone. So I feel like it would be in your best interest to kind of like let this person, you know, like even if, you know, they may come towards you. They may feel like they want to come in and talk or whatever. Um, you guys are still working through some feelings of anger and resentment. I definitely see that you guys are guarded towards this person. And I do feel like your feelings are valid okay your your feelings are definitely valid and i do think that it is in your best interest from what i can see here to not just rush back into anything with this person could just know that when they come towards you they have just gotten out of something else and that means they still have lessons to learn this person needs to learn how to be alone and not hop from relationship to relationship they know that they love you they know how they feel about you they have gained clarity on that but when it comes to them being ready to cultivate a healthy connection relationship and no i feel like they're still battling with some some codependency issues and some insecurities so we have pretty bride so this person yeah they choose you commitment wedding marriage yeah so this person knows that they want to settle down and commit to you i think that they were definitely confused about this before or they didn't know if they wanted to offer that to you but they know it now yeah favorable outcome trying to fix it correcting improving something making the best out of a bad situation what about painting roses or painting red roses sacrifice they're finally letting the situation go where they were trying to hoping it would get better or they were hoping that it could improve it was bad but they were trying to like be optimistic or make the best out of it but they're finally making a difficult decision here to like get their shit together align their priorities they know that they have to give up this situation to have a favorable outcome with you to be able to have this commitment marriage with you I still don't understand, though, why this person is so dead hell-bent on wanting to let this other situation go. Beauty and the Beast, yeah, major differences. Feeling love life is cursed, desperately looking for true love. But why were they holding on to this other person, though, or this other situation? Yeah, what, that was drama. Look at this. Unpredictable situation, out of control drama. What about Circus and Town? Secret admirer. I'm unaware of... Um, I feel like this person is like feels like you're a wild card. Like they, they it's not good where they're at, but they feel like they know what to expect from that situation. This person doesn't like the unknown. Remember what I said? Fear of the unknown is the only thing that's causing stagnation. This person likes comfort zones. They don't like change or possibly feel like dealing with a fixed sign. What is that? Taurus, Aquarius. Um sorry guys. Uh who is the the fire fixed sign? Aries. No, it's it's Sag, I believe. I believe it's Sag, Aquarius, Taurus, and who are you missing? Oh, water. Um, is it? I think it's Scorpio. So I think it's, ah, I don't know, guys. Don't quote me on those. But you could be dealing with a fixed sign, okay? Um, I know Taurus and Aquarius for sure. I can't. I'm like blinking. I usually know them. I'm just blinking right now um but yeah this person does not like change they like comfort zones they like to know how things are going to turn out and how things so they feel like you because you're so different from them and you're so different from what they're used to and i think it's also a mixture of the fact that this person feels like relationships don't ever work out for them or they're just i don't know that they're not good at love i don't know but it's like this person just feels like you're you're they don't have control over you they feel like they don't have control in the situation with you. They feel like you're unpredictable. So this person is also a fear that you're afraid of rejection from you. They have been keeping tabs on you. I think this person also is, a, is not. So this person has an issue with codependency. They like to know what is what's going to happen. How do I say this? Like they would like to know that you will want to be with them before they decide to leave this other situation. And that's really shitty, honestly, because they should just want you no matter. I'm, oh, I'm, if, if you know, if. The collector doesn't want me. I'm just going to stay with this other person. No, especially a, a situation where you're miserable. That's ridiculous. Yeah, so it's like this, this person not knowing if you still want them, if you still want, you know, if you still want a relationship with them, all those things is keeping them from coming towards you. But 
Yeah, divine hand. And I think even like when you were dealing with this person, they may have been still keeping this other situation on the back burner because this person was not sure about you yet. They always like to have a backup plan and I don't like that. So we have divine hand. So the divine intervened. The divine is intervening to kind of like get this person out of this limbo that they're in where they're not making a choice because they're afraid that you're going to reject them. Divine assistance might as touch attracting helpful people. Tell me more. We have lady spiderweb. New connection, shaping your reality, bringing together past, present, and future. Guys, I'm telling you, bringing together past, present, future, something coming full circle. I'm telling you, something finally connecting, something finally making sense. Sacred Emerald, divine love, receiving abundance, heart chakra activation. Yeah, I'm telling you, someone, um, blessed union. Somebody's having a heart chakra activation here. Somebody's awakening to their feelings and emotions for you, like the true like the truth of their feelings and emotions for you. Meant to be together. Love that transforms. Divine mission together. Tell me more. Yeah, man, this is something you manifested. Manifesting dreams, your power is activated. Everything is flowing easily. Why is Voodoo Doll here? Scheming and controlling bad. See? Safe place. What did I say? Feels like home, sense of security, comfort zone. Closed off, guarded. So someone's comfort zone is emotionally being like being emotionally closed off and guarded type but someone feels like they can't stay in their comfort zone they have to be vulnerable with you they're so they're feeling very lonely they feel like time is running out so somebody feels like they have to do something that's outside of their comfort zone i think that they're also their comfort zone is being manipulative and scheming and being controlling and not not being around the best people so i feel like this but this person is also realizing by like them pushing you away and them being guarded they get there is they also feel like you're abandoning them but i feel like this person is realizing that they feel very lonely like them being so guarded is also leading to them being very lonely because they're not letting anybody in so somebody knows that what they've got to do is come in available yeah willing, willing to be vulnerable and it says no limits or restrictions so yeah and heavy on the no limits and restrictions restrictions being a karmic or people that they're still holding on to so yeah, somebody is guarded and they're trying to get out of that. Yeah, I'm deeply missing you. Just key to close doors. Yeah, now they're wanting to open up. Yeah, clearing away the old, cutting something or someone off. Yep, divorce, breakup. Yep, the, the divine is guiding them to do this. Yeah, because they're guiding them. This The divine is really trying to guide this person towards this. Infinite abundance prosperous life unexpected windfalls doing your self-worth and value it's like the divine wants them to walk away from this situation because they know that they deserve better not because not even really to be with you this person is one the divine is wanting this person to get to the point where they're like all right i'm walking away from this because i know i deserve better than to be in a toxic situation like this i deserve a healthy relationship i deserve true love i deserve to experience something meaningful and deep and I feel like that's what this person is still struggling with. So give me a couple more. Tell me about how this person is approaching. Are they approaching the collective? What is, what is what's, 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 I can't talk. See, the cosmos. Soul gifts, divine plan aligned with the universe. Okay. And we have outside influences. What about that? Others affecting outcome, listening to other people's opinions, external factors. What about these people? Social. Somebody's got a shitty social circle. I'm telling you, carelessness, not playing your cards right, negligence, inattentiveness, networking, meeting new people, going out and having fun. So what does that do with my collective? We have, what is that? Hold on, guys. I gotta get it. Magical gateway. Go for it. On the right path. Wonderful new beginning. What does this mean for this person? rocky horse they're still in indecision i just kind of see that so uh, there it looks like they're going to maybe stay in this indecisive energy for a minute here but we have radiant sun confidence success enthusiasm optimism and fulfillment so are they making a decision or not that's when you know there's an infinite abundance are they choosing it are they choosing it or not mm. and they're they're choosing to stay closed off at the moment because of money. It's something to do with money here. Because grasp of greed. Materialism. Possessiveness. Selfishness. Healing heart. They, they, have, they have some more healing to do. What about. Um, 
what about going at, like with this solar eclipse out? What is up with that? We have circus in town, okay? And we have something is happening that is unexpected or unpredictable here. Yeah, something is happening that someone is not going to expect. Some type of drama, something that's out of their control, some type of divine intervention. What is that divine intervention going to look like? Reviving what was lost, creating something out of nothing, alchemy. Tell me more. What's this divine intervention? Explore the waters. There's someone better keep your options open. Figure out what you really want. Okay. Negative emotions, anger and resentment, frustration and annoyance, feeling wronged. Is this then that's in this energy? They're having an epiphany. Sudden insight into reality, dig deep within for answers, discovery or realization. And what does that mean for the situation? So there, something's going down between them and this karmic here when it comes to the solar eclipse. Something is going to, they're going to have an epiphany or realization that also somebody could do something to, like they're going to be like, I deserve better than this. Like, I don't want this person. Like they're going to decide that they don't want this person anymore. That person could have even done something wrong to them or this either this third party is going to feel like this person has done something dirty to them or they're going to feel like this third party did something to them. But they're having an epiphany that's leading to this cleanup crew, cleaning up life, getting rid of distractions, making healthy choices. So I think that that's what's, I think until then, yeah, and they're going to want to come in and be vulnerable here. Yeah, available, no limits or restrictions, willingness to be vulnerable. Okay. And what is, how does, how, what does that mean for uh, my collective? Two hearts. Ooh, falling in love. The feeling is mutual, equal effort. Uh, why is Ocean of Tears in the back of the deck? Emotional loss, defeat, deep sadness, heartbreak, regrets, and mistakes. So they are regretful. They're returning. What about trick or treat, though? Uh, you're not going to trust this person. <laughs> you guys may choose to stay single. I'm telling you, like, they're coming towards you wanting to actually, like, be more vulnerable and, like, want to be in a relationship with you. And you're going to be like, no, um, I'm not sure about you. You put me through a lot. You put me through a lot. You're always playing games. You don't ever take things seriously. You're not going to trust their intentions. You're going to maybe choose to be single. But you've learned to be alone. So you're not going to so easily take this person back. So it's because this person, you know, this person had a third party. So yeah, you guys are in this hard playing hard to get energy when they they come back but they're choosing you over this other person and i think that you guys are not gonna just let them come back easily let them come back easily let them come